OK, welcome to this tutorial on connected particles. Now, what I'm going to do is just essentially show you how we set up equations for a system like this. And then I'll set you some numerical examples which you might like to try following this system and hopefully you should be able to solve them. Now what I've got here is two particles of little mass m kilograms and a bigger mass big M kilograms where big M is greater than small m. Now these two particles are attached by a string and I'm going to assume that this string is light that is it has no mass and it's inextensible that is, it won't stretch. And this string is passing over a pulley and I'm going to also assume that this pulley is smooth. And we'll see how that affects the problem as we go into the tutorial. Now because the mass of this particle is more than the mass of this particle what will happen is that this particle will start to move downwards. And at the same time as this starts to move downwards, because the string is inextensible, this one will move immediately upwards. And that means that because there's going to be a change in speed, that this particle will start to accelerate downwards. And that's where we're going to start labeling this diagram. We mark in immediately an acceleration. And accelerations have double arrows and this will move with an acceleration of a meters per second per second. And as I said earlier, because the string is inextensible, as soon as this moves downwards, this particle little m kilograms will move immediately upwards and will experience exactly the same acceleration. So we're going to mark that one in as a meters per second per second. Now we're going to look at the forces that act on each of the individual particles. So turning to the small mass m kilograms We'll mark in its weight, which will act downwards, okay, and that will have a magnitude of mg newtons. And there'll also be a tension on acting upwards, acting on this particle. So I'll mark that tension in, and I'm going to call it T, T newtons. Now these are the only forces acting on this particle. So now I'll go over to this particle and mark on the forces acting on this one. There'll be its weight, so that will act downwards. And the weight will be big M G Newtons. And there'll be a tension acting upwards. Now What's this tension going to be? Well, it turns out that in a question like this, because I've assumed that this pulley is smooth, the tensions will be exactly the same. If it were a rough pulley, then I'd have to mark this as a different tension, something like T1, say. But I'm going to mark it as T newtons. They're exactly the same purely because the pulley is smooth. OK, so I've now marked in the forces acting on each of the particles. So make sure that you do this in any diagram that you get, OK, or any problem that you get, I should say. And uh, what we do now is we resolve, we consider the resolving equation for each of the particles. So I start by considering OK, we'll just put it up here. Consider the mass little m kilograms. And because it is moving upwards, I'm going to resolve in the direction upwards. 
okay taking upwards as positive so looking at this the only force acting upwards okay is the T so I'll mark that as T and then we have a force acting in the opposite direction mg its weight so I will put minus because it's acting in the opposite direction minus mg and that is the overall resultant force acting on this particle and that resultant force is going to equal mass times acceleration remember the formula F equals ma so we're using that here so this is the overall force and it equals the mass so that be m times the acceleration which is a okay now we're going to look at this particle down here so we'll just mark in that we're going to consider the big mass m kilograms and because this is moving downwards I'm going to make up an equation where which involves resolving vertically downwards so we're taking downwards as positive so the first force that acts downwards is its weight big mg so we'll put that in mg and then we've got the tension which acts in the opposite direction so that would be minus t there's no other forces acting on this particle so this now represents the overall force acting in a downwards direction and that would equal the mass times the acceleration so that would be big M times A now in any question that you get you'll be given values for some of these variables that I've given you in this diagram and what you do is you compile these two equations and then just simply solve them simultaneously to find out the missing variables okay so I hope that helps you to be able to do questions like this